Lindsay, it's Jackie, and today for our workout, we are doing six minute abs. Woo -woo. So we're doing six minutes of ab training. It's based on time. If you want better results, you of course can repeat this circuit one or two more times, or even more than that if you're crazy. But it's based on time, not reps. So go at your pace, your speed, and just give it all you got, have fun with it, and let's go. All right, let's get started with 30 seconds of crunches. So you just really want to keep your chin up to the ceiling, eyes on the ceiling, and really engage your core, squeeze really tight. It's not about getting all the way up, it's about really flexing your core muscles. And of course your feet are flat on the floor. Hands are not pulling your head, hands are simply behind your ears to give you your head some support. Did you know a head weighs like 8 pounds? How crazy, right? little fact. All right, now we're going to go into suitcase crunches, which is the same as a crunch, except you're pulling your knees in towards your chest and lifting your bottom up off the floor just slightly. This really engages your lower abs as well as your upper abs, so it kind of gives it all. It's really good. Make sure when you're doing this that you're not pulling your neck or straining your neck. Make sure you're really lifting off of the mat, lifting your shoulders off the mat. Looking good. And now we're going to go into toe touches. So you're going to take your feet straight in the air, and you're going to take your fingers and reach for your toes. Reach. Some people can get higher on this. It doesn't really matter. You're not impressing anybody. You're just trying to get your workout in. So reach, reach, reach. Awesome. Now we're going to go to bicycle crunches. You're going to take your elbow to the opposite knee, and you're going to move the opposite leg out. That sounds kind of confusing, but take a look at me. Just follow along. Again, all of these are focused on seconds, so go at a slow, controlled pace, so you really have to engage your muscles. You're not trying to go fast. Actually, the faster you go, the less your muscles really have to work. So, go nice and slow. And rest. Awesome. So you get a 30 second rest just to give your abs a little bit of a break and get ready for the next set. So you're going to want to go ahead and move to your hands and knees because we are going to go into mountain climbers. Alright, up on your toes, mountain climbers, here we go. You're going to pull your knee in towards your chest. You're going to be in plank form other than pulling your knee in. So you want to keep your bottom low and your back flat. Your hands are under your shoulders, and just pull that knee in. You want to make sure you're really keeping your core tight while you're doing this. Looking good. All right, now we're going to go down into army crawl. So you're going to get down in a plank type form with your uh, balancing on your forearms and you're going to take your knee to the same elbow. So you're going to kind of reach out and around with your knee, both sides, back and forth. There goes Blizzard running by. Try and keep your bottom low. It's difficult, I know. And now we're going to go into a whole minute plank. You can do it. You can do it. You want to make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders, that your feet are either in tighter is a little bit more difficult. If you want to make this a little easier, step your feet out a little bit wider. Make sure you're not arching your back or sticking your bottom in the air. Make sure you're nice and flat. And um, you also could try this on your forearms if you if it's too difficult for you to do it on your hands all the way up. But I personally think it's easier doing it on my hands. Um, so 
just go for it. If both of those are really too difficult for you, you can also drop down to your knees. Just make sure that you are elongating your body and not leaning backwards because then you're not really engaging your core at all. Um, don't cheat yourself, you know what I mean? Almost there, almost there. Keep holding, you can do it. And rest. Awesome. So you get another 30 second rest. I'm sure you're loving it at this point. Because I know I was. After this 30 seconds, you're only going to have a minute left. So in this last minute, I expect you to give me all you got. All right, here we go. Oblique crunches. It's a normal crunch, except instead of going up, you're lifting and going to the side. You can also do this, which I'll show you by reaching your hand towards your foot. It'll help you just really bend further on the sides. You don't have to do this part, but it'll be a little bit more effective if you do. Just keep turning side to side. Reach, reach, reach. Awesome job, and last move, we're gonna take our feet straight up in the air and lower one leg slowly at a time. Don't let your foot touch the floor at the bottom. You're gonna just lower it down and bring it back up, switching back and forth. This really works your lower abs, which are hard to work. So yeah, you're almost there. Keep going, you got it, you got it. And three, two, one, rest. Congratulations, you just completed six minute abs. For better results, repeat this whole circuit one or two more times. And I will see you on Wednesday with a lifestyle video and again on Sunday with a whole new